So what is the function of education? Is the function of education to get you jobs that don't exist? Or is the function of education a bit more deep than mere job training? Is it a bit more deep than operating on the assumption that the economy will just continue to expand and that there are jobs out there waiting for the educated and the highly skilled and all you got to do is reach out and the apple will just drop in your hand? What is education about, you see? The major function of education, of course, is something that all groups of people have recognized. And groups of people who saw themselves as people and saw themselves as nations. And that is the basic function of education is to secure the survival of a people. To maintain their very biological existence and to enhance their quality of life. Education is not just about an individualistic preparation of some people for jobs. Ultimately, it must be the preparation of the people as a whole to maintain their existence, of which maintaining jobs and employment is a part of this major uh, need. But it does not define it totally. You see, when you see the United States in its struggle against the Japanese and how they will maintain their, their, their supremacy in the world, or how they will maintain their economic position in the world relative to the Japanese, you see them examining the nature of American education. They're not examining the nature of African American education as much as they're examining the nature of white folks' education. Because they see that the education of their children and of themselves is crucial to their very survival. And that it is not merely designed to get one or two people a job, but ultimately is designed to maintain the very life of the group itself. We as African people then must measure our education and how good our education is or how bad it is in terms of the degree to which it contributes to us maintaining our very biological existence and to the degree to which our educated people contribute to enhancing the quality of life of ourselves as a people. Not whether one or two Negroes struggle to the top and then try to project themselves as some kind of role models for the rest, and then go out preaching some ideology of individualism, saying that you can make it if you only try. Ultimately then, African people must take responsibility for their own education, and must define education in terms of our own interests as a people. Education, by the very role it plays in the life of a people, must, play, must then, in the life of African people, be an African-centered education. The Japanese are not being educated for black folk. The white folk are not being educated for, for black folk. There's no group of people on this earth being educated to see to the interests of black folk. There's no people who are in their right mind being educated to see to the interests of other people and to serve the needs of other people. Folk who know that they are folk, folk and people who know that they are people, people who know what their identity is are operating in their own interests. And it will continue to be that way. And people who are on top in the world people who are in control of their economic and political circumstances, people who are major players in the world, are people who've taken responsibility for their own education and for the education of their own children. You do not see any group of people who are on top in the world, any group of people who are creating a life for themselves, placing the education of their children in the hands of someone else. And it is no way you as African people and we as African people are ever going to be in control of ourselves if we are not in the control of the education of our children. I don't care how much you talk to white folk about doing the right thing, how many suits you take before the Supreme Court, how many integration struggles you, you pursue in all of this. In the end, 
you are the only one who can be responsible for your education and the education of your children. No other people. And they've shown you that already. They said, okay, we'll let your kids into these schools. And you thought that was going to be the answer. And now you got them into the schools and you have them taught by white folk. And what are we complaining about? About the fact that they can't read and they can't write. So what, do we, what have we gained? How can we then take uh, responsibility for our children? And why are our children failing in these schools? Or why are they not getting the kind of education they should get? To a great extent, of course, it is due to our own lack of self-knowledge, of knowing who we are and knowing what we are about and what we should be about as a people. And self-knowledge ultimately means knowledge of reality. Just doesn't mean knowing who you are in the sense of your own characteristics, your own streets, strengths, and weaknesses, and so forth. That's a part of it. But it's also getting to know the world and getting to know reality and how reality creates the person you call yourself and who you are and how then you must interact with that reality in defense of yourself and in, in, the, in, in the interest of yourself. African people, as a result of being oppressed and as a result of being diverted by foreign ideologies, have lost a knowledge of themselves and lost the knowledge of where our goals should appoint to, have therefore then lost the knowledge of how our children should be educated. The book, The Developmental Psychology of the Black Child, is a book about self-knowledge. Many African Americans operate on the idea that black children only differ from white children in terms of skin color. And that all children develop the same rate, the same way, with the same values and psychology uh, all across the world, regardless of race. We've been fed that nonsense, and we believe it. And therefore, we assume then that our children should be educated exactly in the same way by the same people as white children. And we assume then if we put them into the same classrooms and have them taught by the same teachers and have them read from the same books, they will get the same education. And we are now puzzled then as to why, after we've put them in the same classrooms, have them taught by white teachers, have them put in schools run by white principals and white superintendents, and we've struggled and put them in integrated schools, they still have problems in reading and writing and learning and education, period. We're puzzled by this idea. But could it be because we really did not know ourselves? We did not know the fact that black children do not develop at the same rate or in the same way as white children. 